Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me, Barty? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. <coughs> what, what happened yesterday? So, is your connection in place? Yesterday was a holiday here because of Eid. Okay. Uh, people blog was organized the session. They were off. Oh, they were off. Okay. Are connected to SQL. Oh yeah. So okay. Could you do some hands-on. Yes, I did. Some yeah, hands -on? I did some hands-on. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Any questions to ask? Uh, oh, enter Scott Tiger. Okay. Yes, I'm done. I'm connected too. Get connected. Yes. Yeah, the inside page size is all done. Yes. So, can you just tell me where we stopped? We were, I think, where is right? Yes, we were. We just. Yeah, uh, concatenation and then uh, so when I query the where loss criteria. We use operators like equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or no, equal no, to. No, no, we, no, we, we, we didn't do it. No, we didn't do this. Well, we did, we, remember like last time we uh, we had the problem that, you know, and then we, didn't, we, we stopped here. I don't know if you remember what. Remember the rare loss. Thank you. 
Hello. Yeah, Chris. Can you? Sorry. What Sorry, happened? Why did you? I, I I got disconnected. Okay. Can you try the query? What has been selected? Here we are trying to list all the employees who work yeah. as either salesman or clerk. Can you see R or comma? Anything is fine or just comma is good? So only comma will work. Comma. Yeah, the comma will work because here we are giving zero values, all values, comma. It's the R, this is the F query, this is the query. The job goes to say it's not equal to clerk in Q list. So what's the difference between these two again? Sorry, like they are, they're exactly the same, right? Exactly the same, but the second one makes it look much more simple. Okay, but they they are exactly the same, right? So, okay, if 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 I, if I okay, I did I did I got eight rows. Yes, the purpose of this example is to give you the usage of in operator. Using yeah. in operator, we can give set of values as criteria for a query. Okay. Okay. So we say equal to. We know the usage of equal to greater than less than. And no, 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 we, equal. no, we haven't gone through. Less than. So let me give you an example. List all employees greater than this worry. Where salary greater than what? One is already more than two thousand dollars or something. So no no okay, can I see can I, can I for the next example here? No we didn't put any quotation quotations in the department number one three zero ten twenty. No, for numeric value there is no need to give quotation. Okay, then it's okay. Yes. For character and date, we need to give quotation. Okay. okay. So yeah. I am listing all employees over in the department. Department number equal to twenty. So this is equal to greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to the operators. How we use them? The examples on operators. So what I am trying to do is I am trying to give you examples on usage of these operators, which are they are relational operators used in the where clause of your queries. They are the operators used in the where clause of the queries. So, not equal to. How is not equal to return exclamatory and equal to is not equal to? Not equal to. Where department number not equal to 10. Means it lists employees of 20 and 30, but not 10. How can we do that? See, I'm giving yeah. you this. Where the department number not equal to. This is not equal to rather than twenty. We'll give you all others. Yes. Not equal to can also be done like this. This is also not Okay, okay, now I can see. Okay, that was about yeah. the equal to not equal to greater than less than in we saw. Then between what is used between operator? Between operator work each of values. So between something and something between the low limit and so to earn a salary between two thousand and four thousand. So what happens internally? It's greater than or equal to two thousand. Between is a range operator which takes the range of values. So range of values is in between a lower value and a higher value. Between a lower limit and an upper limit. All employees who earn a salary 
between 2000 and 4000 will be listed here. In no one, I, your, 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 your screen is stuck. So I, I can't see anything actually. It's stuck somewhere. Uh, can we can we go in between things? Uh, not in not in between, but you know, there's like two uh, uh, greater than and lower lower than symbols. What does that do? That is not equal to. This is the one you're asking for. No, no, uh, no. Uh, it's like yeah, uh, it's like greater than an uh, less than equal to less greater than or less than two thousand. Like I like I saw something up there, which is greater than or less than two thousand. Yeah. Well, yeah. What is yeah? Yeah. So oh. yeah, what's that? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. What is that? This one. Yeah. Yeah. Greater than two thousand. Yeah. yeah. And less than 4,000. This is an operator. Between is an operator which takes a lower limit and an upper limit. So anybody who owns a little bit you're cutting off. I can't understand anything anymore. Uh, yeah. I can hear you clearly. I know, I know you can hear me clearly, but I can like you're cutting off every everything. So yeah, okay. I can hear myself, which is see the there's an echo. I can hear myself. Yeah, so I can hear myself too, which is like. I, it's just like when you're talking, it's just like it's, I mean, it's like uh, it's getting back like every second, and then like. You know, and I can hear your breathing too, actually. Hello. No, I. Yeah, tell me. I have no issues from my end. It's all been resolved. Okay, it's all okay. Okay. I don't know. So yeah, so can, so what's the, the can 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 you go back to and see what's greater than and less than symbol? What does it do again? Uh, it got cut off. You meant Hello. this example. You meant uh, this example, which I've been uh, selecting now. No, not this one. This great. The one we said greater than greater than or less than symbol, and then there's two thousand number. What does that no, do again? No, there's nothing like that. No, can you go? If you go up, I think. I don't have. No, can you go? Like this, this one. This greater than or less than symbol, and then there's two thousand. Like select start from employee where greater than or less than symbol is uh, less than symbol is two thousand. No, I don't have that. I don't know you're, where you're, from where you're seeing. Okay, right there, department. That, you know, yeah, department. Yeah, department. Sorry, department. Select right here. Select start from the employee. Uh, so this is not equal to. Yeah, this is not equal to operator. This is not equal to operator. So what does what does that do again? Okay, hold on. It lists everybody who are not in twenty. So it lists ten and thirty. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's what I want. Okay, Same as you. the above. Same as the previous one. Exclamatory and equal to. Okay. 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 Thank you. Then you have the between operator between, which takes a range of values. List everybody okay. who earn a salary between this and this. So if you want to list, no, no, do this. Don't do that one. List all employees who joined us in the year 1982. This is the question. Who joined us in the year 1982? So select all the columns from the employee table. Where hire date? This is the field. Hire date. That's the join date between first January '82 and 31st December '82. Yeah. Okay. This will list all employees who joined us in the year 1982. Yeah. Yes. Can you please try this?
So it should be all in caps or that's how it should be or? No, no. It is not case sensitive. It can be in logo case also. ISQL is not case sensitive, right? Okay. But data is case sensitive. When it comes to character data, data is case sensitive. Okay. Okay, 31 December. So there's only one format for date or? Yes, what's the format of date in our case? db-mon-yy. That is how we are supposed to enter date. Okay. Okay, I got it. Like I got two rows and if I, get, if I put semi column at the end, I got like two employee names. You have to get all the columns. Because it's select star, you have to get all the columns of the table. Are you getting? Yes, yes, I got like a employee name, employee number, job, manager, date, manager, yes, yes. high date, salary, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. both these both these guys would have joined us in the year 1982. So yeah. 1st January 1982 and 31st December. So what does this mean? It's inclusive of both the values, upper limit and lower limit? Yes. Between is oh. an operator which takes oh. a range of values. So this you sound like only numeric values we can pass, but we can also pass date values. Yeah, okay. So one jump yes. okay, yeah. Date values, yes. yes. The next operator. The next operator is like operator, like. Yeah. So like sounds similar to equal to? Yes. Like sounds similar to equal to. Yeah. But like does, is yeah. very special. Yeah. Like comes with some wildcard pattern matching characters. Yeah. If you don't know the exact spelling, the like can get you the data, get you the result. Yeah. So you have two pattern matching characters, percentage and underscore. Yeah. So what yeah. does percentage do? It can replace any number of any character and underscore can replace any single character. Okay, yes. So what am I trying to do there? I'm trying to list all employees whose name like, employee name is like what? Yeah. It begins with yes, single character yeah. yes. And yeah. after that, I'm not interested in whatever it is, for percentage. Yeah. So yeah. this query is going to list us all employees whose name begins with yes. Yes. So yeah. And so the it, which, yes, it should be in uppercase only because data is in uppercase. Yeah, okay. So okay. so the person the percentage will the percentage will like uh, uh will, okay, so it's it's like a, a, a s percentage it's like s like as anything comes after yes, like Sam or yes. or anything Nita comes or anything. after yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, anything, any number of characters and yeah. any character. Okay. Okay, same way we can yeah. do listing all employees whose name ends with this. How can yeah. we do that? Ending with this. Ending, so you have to put percentage in between, uh, in front? And uh, yes, at, at, the, at later? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yes, yes, later on the percentage in the front. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now, if you want to list all employees whose name contains K, character K. Oh, so, so it's a K percentage. A, A. A, O, A, O, A, and then percentage, right? So in the, in the quotations, A, so percentage. If you do, yes, yes, yes. If you do like this, if you list only names beginning with A. Yeah. But I said I need all names containing A. Containing A, so it's like A, uh, percentage on both sides. Yes, A and percentage on both sides, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. So that's about percentage. That's about percentage. Okay. Uh, underscore. So what will underscore do? Underscore is also a wildcard pattern. It can replace any single character. Okay. So okay. with underscore, I can I can list all employees whose employee name has you as second character. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, uh, I, I can't see the page. Did you scroll down? Uh, yeah. It's stuck there, then not the page. 
dash effect. Yes. Okay, yeah, it's slowly going down. Yeah, okay, yeah, right there. Select employee from where you am like, okay. 30 characters only replace one name, one 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 character. Hmm. Yes, character. So this all employee yeah. is named yeah. as you as a second character. So first yeah. character we are not worried, so we are ignoring it. Second okay. character should be you, and third character onwards can be anything. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that's true. So can be a percentage, anything, right? Okay. So it only can replace one word, right? So that thing. So can I yes. can I put like yes. two 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 underscores? Yes. So then it will be third character. Eight. Oh, there's still, if you get two underscores, I got like three, three records. Yes, okay. I still, yeah. yeah. Because there are three employees whose third character is eight. Yeah, third character is eight. Exactly. Okay, yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, I got nice. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm trying to list all employees who joined us in the month of February. Can you see yeah. that? Yes, I can. Yeah. All employees who joined us in the month of February. Yeah. Higher date, like. Why do you uh, put uh, percentage February? So February is like pretty. Uh, it's given, right? So why do you? Why do we need? No, no, no. The it's not only February. Date has everything. Right? Date has DD. Oh yeah. I'm ignoring okay. them. Yes, I'm ignoring them. So how can so you're I'm saying that you are you're ignoring the year and the date? Just a month. You're yes. saying just a month. How can we can we can actually say E F E and then do the same thing too, right? Like uh, I can just say F E and then do the same thing and it comes. Yeah, the same thing. Yes. Okay. So. What about putting the underscore bit before percentage? Okay. There, there is no need of. Oh, there is See, no need. If you want to put an, ah percentage, you can just put three underscore bd hyphen. So three underscore cd acd. Then hyphen oh, yeah. viral. So three underscore. It will also do the same thing. Yes. Yes, that's true. Yeah, that's true. But you can you can also put like uh, uh, percentage and then and then the underscore. Can we do that? The moment you do percentage, it make it sense, it's any number of any character. Then there's no point in having underscore, right? Okay. Percentage can replace any number of any character. Then there is no point in having underscore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.
I got eleven. Yes. Yeah. So the complement of it is not null. Yes, commission is not. Commission is null, right? That's the reason. Yes. Okay, so some commission so is not null. You can, you can only get uh, three. You said, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, now I'll give you a question. See how you answer this. Okay, I need to list all employees. Yeah. From department twenty, from department twenty, earning salary greater than thousand five hundred. From department twenty, earning salary greater than five fifteen hundred dollars, fifteen hundred. Okay. Yes. Uh, so. there, are, there are two criteria. First criteria is on the department number fee. Second criteria is on the salary fee, and both the yeah. criteria should be satisfied. Should be satisfied only then. The record is seen in the output. Yeah. So how do we do this? The select star from employee, where uh, a department is department equal to twenty. Yes. Yes. Where department equal to twenty. No, department equal number to twenty. Number. Yeah, number equal to twenty. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, no. And and the operator we have to use. It's a logical yeah. operator used to multiple criteria. Yeah. So that's how we go about. Yeah. So we are trying to list all records from the employee table where yeah. department number equal to twenty okay. is the first criteria, yeah. and yeah. the other criteria which has to be satisfied is and salary. Yeah. And the sales greater than one thousand five hundred to fifteen hundred. Yes. Yeah. This is the question, and this is the query with an and yeah. logical operator. Yeah. So. Yeah. Both the criteria should be satisfied for the mm -hmm. record to be in the output.
not equal to 10, not equal to 20. Okay. So based on that we can use whichever we want. The output is going to be the same. Okay. Not like, not in, not between. Can I actually uh, try again, uh, try the uh, not, uh, explanation not e equal to, so you should, be, you should put clerk in the quotations? Yes, you should always put clerk in the quotation. Quotation, okay. So, I, so what happened here? I said self star from the employee where exclamation or oh, job, okay. Yes. Job not, job, okay. It will, yeah, job. So it will list everybody, it will list your salesman, analyst, manager, president, it will list yeah. everyone, except yeah. clerk. Yeah. So null, this null operator, like operator, in operator, yeah. between operator, greater than, less than, equal to, not equal to, relational operator, G. We also yeah. add R and not, and R and not. And yeah. we will put multiple conditions together to ensure that all are satisfied. Or yeah. we will check either of them are satisfied. Not yeah. condition need not be satisfied. So that's about yeah. the operators we have. Yeah. See, list all employees except clerk, not, not like clerk. Yeah. This all employs except people from department number 26, the department number not equal to 20. See, for no, a numeric no. value, it, that's what, see, for a numeric value, it could be to do like this. For a character data, it could be to do like this. Okay. Uh, okay, yes, yes, okay. So, hold okay. on, hold on. So list all employees, list, list all employees who join in here, okay, except 1982. Yes. So it's the, that's like yeah, select, yeah. Star, you know, select all the employees where uh, yeah. where yeah, year is not equal. Not like. Can I see? Can I see? Yeah. Okay. 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 List all employees. Okay. Can I can I also say like uh, select all the employees where high date is not equal to like you now like explanation equal to eighty two percent, right? Do that because yeah, we are using percentage. Percentage can be used only with like. Oh, okay, okay. Percentage like yeah. can be used only with one. Okay? Okay. Yeah. So that's about filtering data with criteria, with rare class criteria. Only the okay. results which satisfy the given criteria is going to be seen in the output. So what okay. we do now, we know how to learn, we learn how to write query, how to filter data and get only the records what we wanted. We, we learn the usage of operators. Relational operator, arithmetic operator, logic. Logical operators and R and not. Okay. Now I'll show you how to arrange the data in a particular way using a order by clause which is going to help us in sorting data. When you are showing the output of a query, when you are showing a report, that the report should be user friendly. It should be neatly arranged. The record should be neatly arranged. So how do you want to arrange the record? Based on which field? Based on employee number? Based on salary? Based on department number? You want to arrange the record in the output? Then you can go and use order by clause. So what is order by clause doing? It is going to arrange the record in a particular order. Yeah. So by default, okay, sorting is going to happen in the ascending order. Order by salary. From the least salary to the highest salary, the record is going to be displayed. If you want to arrange the record in the descending order, you can say order by sal D is C. So you can arrange by your numeric field, you can arrange by your date field. We can also arrange by a character field. So how do we arrange by a character field? Order by job. Yeah, this is what I have to say. Please try this out. So what is going to happen when you arrange by salary? Please, you need to edit all this. You know, select arrow, quickly edit it. Okay. Yeah, select uh... From least to salary to the highest salary, the record of the place. Okay. 
now with the keyword D, just use the up arrow, Krish, and edit your query. Give D if you see at the end. Yeah. You can put them, you can put them in the, the, the listening order. So, which one goes to the service, which one are by salary, right? So, so okay. what does it order by salary to the third? It does the, uh, who has the most salary? The, yes, it it's, it's in the descending order, so highest to least. That's in the descending order, from highest value to the least one. Oh, okay. yes, okay. Okay, so. A couple of sorting by, a, yeah, this was sorting by a numeric field. Now, when we go to sort by a date field, see what I'm doing. I'm including order by higher date. No, date. no, 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 can I, can I, can I, what if the two people have the same salary? That's uh, immaterial. They can be in any order. They, need, they can fit anywhere. Because the, okay. they are focusing only on the salary, right? Okay. So there is no rule that they and? Do anything can be anything. Okay. Okay. Now, wait, wait. Now two people have the same salary, then you want to further arrange them by what? By their names? So you can say order by sal, comma, name. Okay. So yes. now is the alphabetical order? Yes. That's starting by multiple fields. Understood? Uh, okay. Hold on a second. Sorry. Among, okay, let me tell. Let me tell what happens. Among people who earn the same salary, among the people who earn the same salary, the records will be displayed by their names. First, alphabetical order, A, A, B, C, D. In that order, the names will be displayed. The records will be arranged in that order. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. You have two of them earning salary 3,000, correct? Yes. One is Ford and the other one is Jones. So if you say comma email, F will come first and then J. Okay. So right? That's uh, uh, some descend, it's a descending. Okay. Oh, okay. descending. Yeah. Yes. Because it is in the reverse. You remove this descending, it will be in the ascending order. Alpha Okay. 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 So which one comes first here though? Like that it that the the order comes salary first or the name first? Salary, salary first. It's a, it's a priority is on salary. First is arrange the record by salary. Then if there are five employees with same salary, then you can arrange these five of them by their name. Only these five by their name. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Now when you start by date. So if if I said date, right? Descending. Yes. Okay. If I say if, the, if, I, if I don't say descending, it's uh. If I, if I don't say descending, it's. It has ascending. At least to be the small to be. So if I if I don't if I, if, okay, I I just say I just said select Sean name start from employee order by salary email, and it doesn't descend. It's like it's like uh, it's like from lower to higher. Yes. That's a default sort order, always. Lower to higher is a default sort order. If I, if, I, if I say descending... Then it will be higher to lower. No, I, I don't see that again. So I see... No, it should be descending for, for the individual column. Now we are doing sorting by two fields, right? It should be on each column, no? See, you can do it like this. Order by sal, D, A, C, C. Now here we have done by both the fields, right? Which field do you want to descend in? This one? Yes. You want this one also? Yes. Both in descending order? You need, we need to use the keyword DES. Only then it will be in the descending order. Because by default the sort is in the ascending order. On any field. On numeric field, on date field, on character field. So descending is <laughs> descending is something like uh, 
I'm sorry. They think it's something you get the top salary, right? And then you can go to the go to the lower yes. salary. Yes. Yes. This and big to small. Now look at this interaction. If you want to arrange the records by the job, job sorting employee records by job. So how is it going to job is a character field? Yes. How is it going to sort by job? So it goes to the. Uh, Shall I start from the A? Yeah, yeah. So it will list all analysts, then all clerks, yeah. manager, president, and yeah. then salesman. Yeah. Okay. Do it, do it. Okay, yeah. Job. Okay, yes, I do. I. Oh, so it it actually goes to S first, and then F. I need to. No, you have given D E S C. You have, you must have given D E S C. They move D E S C. Then it will be in the proper order. Yes. Then it will yeah yeah okay. descending and then it will pop down yeah. Now look at the bucket of analysts. You have two analysts. You have four clerks. You have okay, three hold managers. On hold, on. hold on a second. No, no. Uh, Arab job. Yes, yes. Sales. Uh, and salesman president and manager yes manager manager clerk and clerk and clerk and then then the analyst will be got the end okay yeah now you see, now look at clerk there are four clerk you want to arrange these clerk by their salary then what okay. we supposed to do we can do order by multiple people first you put it by job and then put their salary you decide in which order you want both in ascending both in descending One in ascending, one one in descending. It's up to you. So here, like this. So oh, I, I, I all job in this. No, no. Can I can I actually say job descending and salary ascending? Yes, you can. Job descending. So what job descending will do? Job descending will first give you salesman, mm -hmm. right? Then it will give you president, then manager, then clerk, and that last will be another. Okay, yeah. that's job descending. Now. Salary ascending. That's what we have done. So among salesmen, the, 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 all the salesmen will be displayed only least to highest salary. Only salesmen. Then go to president. Only one record. Go to managers. You have three managers. These three managers will be arranged from highest to least salary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. That's true. So, so however we want it, we can sort the record. Either in ascending order, descending order. Okay, one in ascending, one in descending. We can sort numeric field. We can sort by character field. We can sort by date field also. So when we sort the date field, older dates are smaller values compared to newer dates. Today's date is bigger compared to yesterday. Tomorrow is bigger than today. That's how dates are considered. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so fine. So we shall stop here. I share a couple of files with you. But uh, maybe uh, like uh, in the evening you should get it. For you, it will be late evening. You should get the files by then. Go through them. We'll start tomorrow. We'll uh, we'll log in at the right time. Maybe today we we had given a new link to start login, so it took some time. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't get the link until until just before. Yes, yes. Even I didn't get. I was waiting for a long time. Even I didn't get. Even I got when you got only. Okay. I in fact no, thought no. today also <laughs> there is some issue or maybe there is no session. Then I okay. called and they said no, there is session and uh, they gave me the link. Okay? okay. So from now onwards, I will start sharing the files, the PPT, yep. the files for your reference. Okay. So the, I don't think so there won't be, there will be any technical issues. So we'll continue smoothly from tomorrow on. Okay. okay? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Then I thank you.